Okay. And did you have any of the uh, surgery done before you started doing porn? Because I've always just been wow, just amazed by the giganticness of huge fake cans. My like, yitties. I can't even think right yitties. right now. <laughs> My yitties. Yeah. Um, and your butt, too. It's just like perfectly round sculpture. Well, I didn't have anything before. I always had big yitties, but then I um, lost a bunch of weight and all my fat went away. So then they became like big empty pockets. Like, have you ever seen the Simpsons, the like Simpsons movie? Yes, no, no. I stopped being a Simpsons fan after like year This eight. was like 20 years ago. I know, and it already sucked 20 years ago. <laughs> like the movie, the Simpsons had sucked for like 10 years before the movie well just listen so there's this grandma and she points like to like go, she goes that way with her tits and she points <laughs> and my tits were like that they could like move i could throw them over my shoulder they were just like i bet they were not that bad <laughs> no they but so what then but you got them bigger to like fit you the fill in the sack i just filled in my sack oh. so my tits have always been this big they were just i lost weight and i just refilled them but now because they're fake they sit nicer and stuff whoa yeah. That's interesting. Empty pockets, pockets filled. I have noticed that. Because, like, Lena's boobs were kind of, like, too tight to her skin before, I feel like. They looked really fake. And then they got big because she was breastfeeding. And then they came back to life. And now I feel like they fit the, the amount of skin you have, like, better. They're boobing. They're boobing. They look... They sit a little more naturally. What is I that? Guess. The boobs are boobing? Everybody just says that all the time now. <laughs> I love it. The titties <laughs> are tittying. The asses are assing. It's a thing. It's a yeah. whole thing. So, okay, you moved to LA when? Oh, uh, like six months ago. Six months, that's I it? I met her Seven in April, ago? and she was like, I'm going to... Oh, I'm gonna come out to LA to collab. Actually, never mind. I'm gonna move to LA. Hold on, wait till our collab. I'm actually moving here. And where were you before? Michigan or something? Yeah, and then I was spending like a hundred thousand dollars a year to come out here, mm. like with freaking flights and hotels and this and that, food. It's and probably still cheaper than living here. Well, no, it was like about the same, and I can write it all off. So why travel back and forth if I could just live here and not have to do it? Why were you in Michigan? That's where you're from. That's where I'm from. And yeah. You love it or what? I love the morals of people there. I don't love the place. What are the morals? Like smoke meth, steal metal? No, from that's you're sites? thinking Missouri oh, okay. and stuff <laughs> like that. No, it's really it's people are just nicer and more genuine. Like you get what you get there. Like people say how they're feeling. They. What you get is brown water. Do you have good water where you're from? Michigan has the best water. Besides the places where it's brown Flint, and they'll give you cancer. Flint right. had bad piping that was made out of lead, and their mayor was some crazy guy. Whatever. I know, and, they, and the city council was supposed to like face murder charges, but they just had the charges dropped. Yeah. What? Because the, they weren't like filed properly or some bullshit. It's it, crazy. It was really, really Because so corrupt. many people died from it. I know. Yeah, yeah that's but it was the, the pipes. Dropped. We actually have some of the um, cleanest water in the world, and I'm not even kidding. Wow. Because we have some of the, we have like how many all those Great Lakes, and then we have all the fresh water. It's just our piping system was a little bad. Did you <laughs> stick out in Michigan where you lived, or did you fit in? Uh, I stuck out. Like people didn't like me a lot. Why? Too hot. Mm, yeah, sweaty. like I just didn't, I didn't hang out with certain, I didn't fit the mold of, I hung out with everybody. I liked everybody. I'd hang out with the people that people didn't like and, you know, and it was just drama all the time. you look like someone who's not approachable, but you're like very approachable. You're like one of the most approachable people. And I feel Aww, like if yay. someone just didn't, didn't know you, that they wouldn't get that. Yeah, well, that's the thing too, is like I used to be, I was friends with a lot of people in high school. And then like, I started realizing like, the popular crew was kind of like shallow and shit. And so I stopped hanging out with all them and then hung out with all the, oh my God, I, long story, but hung out with all the like druggy people and all the stoners because they were nicer and yeah. Did you get into drugs? Oh, I got into drugs. Yeah. And then like oh, what? what drugs? I, everything besides heroin. Um, I went to rehab in high school and stuff. Yeah. How long were you in rehab? Uh, a couple of months. I I don't know. I, I hardly graduated. They kind of just let me graduate because I was like getting help and stuff. Uh, my mom switched me to private school because I was getting bullied so bad and I wanted to go to art school. But my mom was like, no, we're going to switch you to this private school. So they put me in a private school. What kind of art did you want to do? Just any art. Like, and I was like, just put me in an art school. And, um... And then instead of that, they signed me up for some religious school. 
And I was like, I'm going to get kicked out. And then after half a semester, I smoked in the bathroom. Some chick told on me. I got kicked out. You smoked weed or a cigarette? I smoked K2. Oh, my what is God. That? It was Synthetic the thing at weed. the time. My mom was drug testing me. And oh so God. I was like, I can't get caught. So I would smoke K2 in my bedroom because it didn't smell as much. And I'd smoke it in the bathroom at school. And then one day I did it. Didn't realize there was some girl in the bathroom at the time. Got in trouble. They luckily, since it was a religious school, they didn't report me because they're like, we're going to deal with this, you know, with God, with God <laughs> and with your family. So I was like, but like, maybe you can come back here next year once you have it together. And I'm like, no, like, I'm good. K2 mostly consumed by prisoners and homeless people. Oh, yeah, okay. it's not good stuff. It's <laughs> and like, Dengler. No. Yes. In high school. Well, it was like the dumb thing to do. Like everybody was like, you know, like. I don't know. It was just the smoke this, pass drug test, blah, blah, mm. Don't do anything anymore. And yeah, so I think like all the bullying, I don't know how we got on this, but all the bullying and stuff like led up to that. Don't do drugs anymore. Okay. I'm wondering like you start doing the hot tub streams and everything. Like what, what the fuck do you actually do on stream to keep the people entertained? Like what's the idea? You chat with people. Like you talk with them about anything. You know, you get to know people. It's like, big group chat of your friends 